You were just it. you were just asking me for like an update. The community wants it. <laughs> no, just that. So not, do I. Not yeah, you. You know, not I, you, I'm just curious that. as a friend, <laughs> as someone who is employed by you. I'm kind of curious <laughs> if you've been. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad. So you'd well. prefer if I'm not dead. I, yeah, yeah, pretty what much. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it was weird, man, because obviously... Is there an uh, update? Well, not really. I oh, mean, okay. a little bit, I would say. Sure. I think I may have... Did, like, I, I had stuff to do last night, right? Yeah. And so... And I was already convinced that the tag was not on my vehicle. Because okay. and by the way, quick recap. I yeah. just I got the notification on one of my iOS devices that there was a tag traveling with me, an air tag. And I was like, okay, well, I try to track this thing down. I played the speaker noise. I couldn't find the speaker noise. I kept getting different. Um, uh, I was using the scanning app on Android, and then I was also using Find My on my iOS device because Find My is supposed to show this. But Find My is really a disaster as far as I'm concerned on this front because it kind of misconstrues things. Like, it has to be around you for a certain amount of time before it's going to even show up as a device. So you have to kind of, like, wait. You can't just run a scan, in other words, on unknown AirTags uh -huh. versus these other apps where you can do it. And people suggested the uh, Blue app. What was it called? Um blue light blue oh god where is it oh that was an ios app yeah it was called uh, was it light blue yeah yeah okay so i was using that but for some reason this wasn't showing me air tags this was on, showing me a lot of unknown devices then i was having to click through for more information and it was showing me the strength of the signal coming from the low power bluetooth device so that was kind of cool but it just the interface wasn't super helpful in ident there's so many devices i'm getting 25 on a scan and many of them manufactured by apple and then i'm trying to cross-reference mac addresses to the devices i but i have too many there's too many devices and we were hoping like the the um, the signal strength would help lead you to where the actual air tag is not if you have 20 apple devices yeah, so anyway i found another app which is called, and this is a paid app, so I'm not necessarily recommending it, but I just found the the interface and the feedback to be a little easier to cruise through. And it was called uh, AirTag Tra uh, Tracker Detect Pro. It's four bucks on Android. I don't know if, like, I, if you need it or not. It, the ratings are not fantastic. It's kind of hard to say. And it didn't, for the record, it didn't, like, is it it didn't one? it didn't kind of look how this looks where I felt I could kind of just walk towards it wasn't UWB which seems to be I, an iOS only thing when it is your own AirTag but it will at least identify wait no this is the official tracker detect app okay yeah uh, a tracker detect pro is underneath it oh this it, one yeah that that other one's by Apple Oh, okay. Okay, so that, that that's the default one that you get that Apple put out reluctantly. They're like, okay, I don't know if it's reluctantly, but they realized there was an issue and they published an, an iOS app, or sorry, an Android app, instead of just having people find out on iOS if they're being tracked. So anyways, uh, this third party made this Tracker Detect Pro, which is quite a bit different than the official app from Apple. You can play an air tag sound, you can run a scan at any time, and it will show you an actual readout in meters or feet Okay. of how close proximity an air tag happens to be. Now, I was kind of freaking out because I discovered I honestly didn't have time. I was out of the house, I was still doing stuff, I still have life obligations, so I didn't have time, like, after work to really investigate so it was late at night and everyone was sleeping and i'm like all right let me i'm gonna go full detective mode now okay yeah but you know it's also a snowstorm is weird and it was kind of an odd time to be into detective mode yeah and also i was just like gassed man i was exhausted and i was like oh can i really get to the bottom of this right now by the time everybody went to bed so i'm getting this a really close air tag show up in this app 
And I'm like, what the God's name is this here? In uh, in your house? Inside. Okay. And I'm like, I'm checking coat pockets. I'm, uh, I'm like, damn, this thing is one meter away from me. Like, this. <laughs> You're just looking around you, just like in circles. Uh, kind of. No, I, I'm telling you, I'm in the closet. I'm checking coat pockets. I'm checking uh, pants that, you know, like I'm just anywhere that I feel like a pocket could have had something in it. Mm-hmm. I'm emptying stuff out. I'm checking backpacks. I'm checking, you know, all the stuff you would check, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I can't get anything. I can't get anywhere. I'm just, I'm just a meter away from this thing. So then I'm like, wait a second. Huh? Now, by the way, I should mention at this point, this is not the only air tag, but this is the one I'm most terrified about showing up on this scan. Okay. I have a total of five air tags now showing up on this scan. What? Five. But do you and I don't have any air tags. I don't. Have, I don't have a single air tag. Your family in, in this pro, in this proximity. Okay. I mean, I have air tags, but not in this proximity. Mm-hmm. Besides, it doesn't matter because they wouldn't be unknown. They're not in this anyway. Okay. This is only air tags that don't belong to me. Got it? Right. So anyway, I'm I, I'm I'm like you know maybe these things are being classified incorrectly. How the hell I got five air tags? I'm like, maybe these Apple devices are not registering themselves correctly. So I go find my Apple Watch Ultra, which I haven't used in about a thousand years. Uh-huh. And I'm like, this is the only thing nearby enough without an identifier. I'm not seeing Apple Watch on here. I power down the Apple Watch. There goes the one air tag. Mm. So they are like labeled as some sort of find my find my was broadcasting something even in the absence of having used being the Apple Watch even being used. Right. So, okay, there's one. I got four more. And uh, the the these other ones are the ones that could have been causing me problems from the jump. They got to be Apple products then, right? But here's the problem. The, none of these I can get to ping from inside my house. So none of them have been planted on anything personal item. Because these ones are only available to me when I'm outside the house. Got it? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, ting, 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 ting. And they're all there and different ranges. So I got like, uh, let's say 15 feet, 50 feet, 100 feet. All in this range of distance. Hmm. And I'm like, okay, I don't have uh, the proximity to other people's houses is not he um, is not small. Mm-hmm. So so it it they're more than that distance away. So I'm like, is this thing completely like I'm starting to think? Did somebody down the street pick up a bunch of these things? Was somebody parked on the road with a bunch of these things? So I start going up and down. Now I'm marching through the snow over here. Oh. And I look like a maniac. I'm about to get arrested or shot or something trying to stalk the stalker in this case. Yeah, with your uh, Dick Tracy outfit. It's a double yeah. double stalker job thing going on. Um, now, th- th- some people are mentioning, you know, AirPods can come up like this. They're supposed to identify correctly. So it should be like, hey, there's an unknown pair of AirPods near you or there's an unknown uh, device or whatever else. And then air tags are supposed to say air tags, which is what I liked about this app is that this app lets you actually select only air tags. Oh, okay. This app, you can go in and say, I don't care about all these other devices. Uh-huh. You can uncheck others and Apple devices. See that? Go back to that other slide. I'm now promoting this app. It's four bucks. I'm not really promoting the app, but it's just the... the you found it useful. I found it useful. I, I found it like useful. It I found it useful, but I can't speak to everybody's experience with it. So anyway, it also will tell you if any of the devices are suspicious or if they've been around you before. Like it will keep okay. track of every single time it gets a device, and the and it, as long as you keep the app installed, it will tell you um, if this is a new one or if this is the original time in which you encountered this device. Uh huh. Am I to the bottom of it? Absolutely not. 
I still... So you couldn't find the other four devices. I have four now air tags, which I can ping. And they're outside your house? Well, I can ping them from there. I can find them from there using this scanner at those ranges of distances. And I can march around and I, I'm like a guy playing hot and cold. I'm like a hotter, hotter. You're getting, it, it's getting warm. You're getting hot. It's warmer, warmer. <laughs> You're in someone's bathroom. <laughs> colder, colder. Exactly. All of a sudden... I'm knocking on the window. I'm really hot right now, but yeah. I don't. I don't think without UWB. I think that this low power Bluetooth is wonky, as far as those distances are concerned, yeah. and those projections or those transmit powers and so on. And I really want UWB, so I really want the third party device, which is just gonna ding, 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 right up to it. Uh -huh. The same way that is if I owned the, tr the tracker myself, I'd be able to find it. Now I realize some type of security risk but with that, but if I got a tracker that has now been with me or close enough to me for over 48 hours, mm -hmm. I can't get the peace of mind closing the eyes. Mm. So something like this is, it's bringing you straight to it. Hopefully. Well, that's the idea, right? Yeah. And it's not just air tags, but it's all tracking devices. That's the goal. I mean, I could use one of these things like ASAP, basically. They said two weeks. So we'll find two out. Two weeks. That's too late. Two weeks. I'm dead yeah. in two weeks. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, oh boy. identify BLE tags and devices by manufacturer, all day BLE tag detection in your pocket. I just really, really don't like Apple's implementation of this. I'm just going to straight up say that. I just, I'm not a fan of it. Mm -hmm. It's, it makes it feel so mysterious. Like, all I have is these two... Uh, I mean, they're basically glorified screenshots at this point. They're not interactive, and it's just like... This happened at this time and that happened at that time. And then I, if I open up Find My Where with all of this is supposed to happen, I don't see any of it anymore. I see nothing. But if I open up a third party app, I can still see these four tags. Huh. Do you see what I'm saying here? But within that Android app, you can't like sound like the audio. No. You can't beep it. No. Right. Uh, but, but the Android... Uh, the Android find my by Apple, you can beep it. Oh, okay. But I can't hear any beeps anyway. Right, right. And it doesn't show me distance. It just goes ping, ping, ping. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show me distance on it. At least this shows. Oh no, that one looks like it can play a sound too. It doesn't matter because I don't. I haven't heard sound since since. Right, right. right. The very since this whole thing started. Yeah, this is very. Um... I feel like someone is tracking you because they disabled the sound. Well, no, unless unless it, I, I'm right and the thing is behind a wall somewhere on another person's house and it's coming through a window or something and I'm just beeping the hell out of their place. The thing is, they haven't... the tr I, These uh, four units that I've been able to discover haven't budged the proximity from oh, okay. where I scan. If I scan in the same location, proximity remains the same. Still there. Okay. So that's why I was thinking car at first, right? I was like, okay, I, I'm I'm concerned that there might be car involvement because I, I you know I'm standing near them. But then I'm like, let me get even closer. Let me go to the other side of the car. And it, it wasn't having a drastic impact. However, if I walked around a little like changed my location greatly, then like I would walk, let's say 20 feet and then all of a sudden the air tag is four feet closer do you see what i'm saying but i walk 20 feet mm. like i can't it's just not possible to 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 get it exact its exact right, location right. without uwb uh-huh which is why they built it in the first place on their own products yeah because they knew damn well what good is the air tag if you know the rough proximity you need to know exactly where it is mm -hmm. And that's essentially what happens with your other devices on Find My. Yeah. If it's your own device, it will take you right to it. If it's somebody else's device, you just know roughly right, that it's right. been on you now for 48 hours or near enough to you for 48 hours. Now, I'm honestly at a point where I'm like, am I knocking on doors here? Probably. Maybe. 
Dude, I feel like this is like a problem that many people might have. Like, what if you're stuck in an apartment, tight quarters, and then your neighbor has a air tag or something, <laughs> and your phone's just pinging off? The air tag is only supposed to alert you of nefariousness if the air tag is no longer with the owner. You feel me? Mm hmm. If the air tag is with the owner and the owner's iOS device, this is why we never get pinged by Kovu's air tag on the right. dog in Cause the studio because Moe's, Moe's here. Yeah. If Mo were to leave the dog in the studio and, and just take his phone, be gone for a week, we'd be getting pinged like crazy unknown air tag. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, m my best guess is that. And again, I'm going on the optimistic side right now is that it's actually traveling with somebody nearby or it's stationary with somebody nearby. And when there, my problem occurs when they go away from that tag, but that tag is being picked up by my devices. Right. Now, for me to get to the bottom of that, I have to look at when Find My is pinging me uh -huh. And if that coincides with any, like, neighbor exiting their premises, like, this is this is bananas for me to be able to distinguish if that's what's going on. Yeah, and it's also just an awkward situation talking to your neighbors about air tags. Like, somebody said, what if the, what if it's it tags on a, on a neighbor's cat or dog? Like, that is another thought I had. Yeah. But why would, but I, then it's too many tags. Yeah. It's too many tags. Listen, man, I don't uh it's a, it's it's going to be something something that's ongoing for sure. And I know other people have experienced uh stuff like this and I just I wonder about the way tags are identifying themselves versus other devices and I I know that some apps know know the difference between an air tag and the uh, the classifier for it others just list it as unknown other yeah. apps that are for detection but of course you're definitely going to want to know the difference cuz an air tag is what 20 bucks mm -hmm. and the chance that a person's going to take a hit on like any other device to track you is unlikely yeah. so you really want to know immediately the difference between air tags and then whatever your neighborhood's and your household's other iOS devices are mm -hmm. you going to yeah go ahead Someone in the chat said it might be a bug. Greg said, I had five plus since launch. No issue till this week. But my tag beeped at me, the owner. Second alerted my colleagues who I see daily in the office. Is it a bug? Maybe. Maybe they're testing out some stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I was able to identify all types of other Bluetooth, right? Like, I was able to go through and say, okay, I know which device that is. I know which device that is. I know which device that is. And distinguish from there that the, the tags are the tags. The tags are legit. And... But I don't know what else is worthwhile tagging. It's not something... Let's say, okay, let's just do this in reverse. It's not something inside the, the place. It's not a vehicle. From what I can tell. So what the hell else is worth tagging? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I mean? But the proximity thing is mess you up. It'll mess you up because all of a sudden you're just marching around like, oh, I'm only now I'm nine meters away. Right. And uh, let me try to find where's eight meters away. And and I know it's bull crap, all of it, because I go in one direction and I got I got four feet closer. I keep going in that direction. Now I'm four feet further away. It's mm -hmm. some goofy stuff going on. It is not precision. It's not accurate. Maybe what the guy's going to give me is precision. The dedicated device. Yeah. Blue sleuth. Hopefully we'll try it out. But don't worry. I had to, I put those sentry modes and stuff on. So like I was also oh, okay. monitoring that. And I mean, I'm paying attention. That's for damn sure. But this, this is not... It's not fully fleshed out. It's not a comforting thing. And my whole impression of the product is altered, mm. right? As it would be for anybody who had this type of encounter mm -hmm. where, and it was the same thing my wife said to me. She's like, 
it seems like all you need is one experience like this to think that the drawbacks outweigh the benefits. Yeah, just, it just takes one bad experience. One bad experience is highlighted so so much more greatly. I mean, maybe if you lost your dog and found your dog, that would be on the on the positive end of the yeah. spectrum. You'd be like, wow, that's amazing tech, uh -huh. which it is. But and I think it we, happens more often than not, for the most part. We just need better tools to yeah. be able to like isolate it and actually find it. That's the key. We need. Mm -hmm. They got to give us access to that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's your update for now. I don't know. I'll let you know if these things move, if if they if they budge, mm -hmm. and if I'm able to eh, better march around. It's like the worst time for it too. To like, there's so much snow that fell last night. Yeah. It's the worst time to go hunting for air tags. Uh huh. And talking to your neighbors about it, that's just awkward. It's like, can I just uh, beep real quick and see if I can hear it? Oh my God! Can you imagine? Yeah. I was also get thinking, off my property. You know, what if you even just had a neighbor that was like, I mean, I don't want to make any accusations, but you could have. Not all neighbors are created equal, right? And you could course, go and make an accusation, course. and they could take it the wrong way, and they might not even understand the tech and be like, "Are you spying on me?" And you're just like, no, like this happened. That's definitely not what's going. Yeah, don't you watch Lou later? You oh. know what I mean. So, anyway, we're gonna keep watching. I'll keep monitoring. It. That's right. what I'll give you on that one All for right. now. 